Honourable Members of the House of Representatives, it is a privilege for me to exercise the prerogative of Her Majesty the Queen and open the 49th Parliament. Just over four weeks ago, New Zealanders elected a new parliament. The outcome of the election clearly demonstrated New Zealanders' desire for a new government and in the view of my government, a desire for a fresh approach to our country's challenges. Within two weeks of that election, negotiations between political parties enabled the formation of a new national-led government that commands the votes of 69 members of this parliament on confidence and supply. Confidence and supply agreements are held by the National Party with the ACT Party, the Māori Party and the United Future Party. These agreements will form the basis of constructive and mana enhancing working relationships and will enable my government to govern in an effective, stable and inclusive manner. Beyond these agreements, my government anticipates cooperating with other parties in Parliament on issues of mutual interest. Honourable Members, the driving goal of the new government will be to grow the New Zealand economy in order to deliver greater prosperity, security and opportunities to all New Zealanders. It will be going for growth because it believes in the power of economic growth to deliver higher incomes, better living conditions and ultimately a stronger society for New Zealanders. My government knows that only a strong economy will guarantee financial security for families, well-paid jobs in New Zealand for our young people and larger superannuation payments for our older people. In pursuing this goal of economic growth, my government will be guided by the principle of individual freedom and a belief in the capacity and right of individuals to shape and improve their own lives. My government believes that building a stronger economy in the term of this parliament will not be without considerable challenges. These are extraordinarily difficult times for the country and the world. The world is experiencing what is now being described as the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression of the 1930s. Global credit flows have dried up, financial institutions have fallen over, share markets have plunged, and economies worldwide are falling into recession. The New Zealand economy has been in recession this year and economic growth in 2009 is forecast to be low. Asset values are falling and unemployment is predicted to rise. The government will run an operating deficit this year and is likely to do so for some years to come. My government believes that in such challenging times, our country cannot afford its parliament to be distracted from the issues that matter. So my government will not seek to involve itself 
in decisions that are best made by New Zealanders within their own homes and their own communities. The new government's vision is not to dictate the way in which New Zealanders should live their lives, but instead to ensure that they have the opportunities they need to make the best choices for themselves. My government will therefore, in representing the will of New Zealanders, remain resolutely focused on the issues that matter, preeminent of which will be the need to strengthen the economy to ensure future economic growth. Honourable members, my government is concerned that in recent years New Zealand's productivity growth has been poor, our after-tax wages has, have slipped further and further behind those in Australia, and record numbers of people have departed our shores to live permanently overseas. New Zealand's economy has slipped further behind those of other OECD countries. It is the view of my government that if New Zealand's past 10 years were to be described as the decade of missed opportunities, then the next 10 years must be the decade of maximised opportunities. My government intends to embrace New Zealand's clear opportunities for improved economic performance and to use them to deliver better wages and living conditions for all New Zealanders. It commits to, among other steps, an ongoing programme of personal tax reductions, a step up in infrastructure investment, a reduction in government bureaucracy in favour of frontline services, and across the board commitment to lifting productivity growth and a renewed effort to lift education standards. In recognition of the current financial crisis, my government will move quickly to provide much needed fiscal stimulus to the flagging economy in the form of personal tax reductions and a step up in infrastructure investment. My government is today tabling a bill to reduce personal taxes from 1 April 2009. Its intention is to pass this new tax legislation by Christmas and it believes this tax reduction will equip New Zealanders with some much needed extra cash in tough economic times. Personal taxes will be further reduced from 1 April 2010 and from 1 April 2011. As a result, by 1 April 2011, around 80% of New Zealand taxpayers will end up paying no more than 20 cents in tax for every additional dollar that they earn. This program of tax reduction is a central part of the economic plan of my government because it believes in encouraging New Zealanders to get ahead under their own steam and it views personal tax reductions as an essential step in ensuring that can happen. In addition to this tax program, my government will urgently set about tackling the infrastructure blockages evident in New Zealand's economy. This will involve a stepped up program of Crown infrastructure investment with many overdue projects brought forward. This infrastructure program will, in the short term, create much needed jobs and economic stimulus, while in the medium term it will help unclog 
the arteries of the New Zealand economy and improve economic productivity. Of particular focus will be the development of new roading and public transport projects, the improvement and expansion of school property in a 21st century school building program, and the accelerated rollout of an ultra-fast broadband network across New Zealand. The development of this ultra-fast broadband network will be critically important to New Zealand's growth prospects as it will provide New Zealanders with high-speed, real-time internet connections to the world and will give rise to new enterprise and innovation. In this area of infrastructure investment, as in others, my government will work constructively with the private sector in order to maximise the impact of public investments. In parallel with this commitment to infrastructure investment, my government will undertake a two-step reform of the Resource Management Act. The first stage of this reform will be focused on improving the consent process and will include amendments to streamline and simplify the Act, including priority consenting for projects of national significance. The second stage of this reform will focus on improving decision-making around infrastructure, water and urban design. The goal of both stages of reforms will be to reduce the costs, delays and uncertainties in current law that my government believes are holding back development and job creation. My government is acutely aware that despite the measures I have just outlined, the enormity of the economic challenges that New Zealand faces today are such that unemployment is forecast to rise in the months ahead. It believes that the economic crisis will not be averted by cutting government spending and social support, but rather by backing the everyday New Zealanders who through their hard work and resilience will power New Zealand through this recession. In what may be particularly tough times, my government is determined to stay the course with New Zealanders by giving those who have lost their jobs the support they need to get back on their feet. Before Christmas, my government will announce the details of its transitional relief restart package to help those New Zealanders worst hit by redundancy. This package will be carefully targeted and designed to help people who have worked hard and who have big aspirations for the future, but who will be, through no fault of their own, coping with a big financial blow. In this area, as in all others, my government intends that its actions reflect the belief that New Zealand is a country built on a sense of fairness and a sense of our obligations to each other. It is confident that as the steps I have just outlined are taken, the country will be able to push through this downturn and on to a longer term pathway to stronger growth. In the short term, my government is committed to shoring up the liquidity of the financial system. It will continue to support the retail deposit and wholesale banking government guarantees currently backing our financial sector. Its intention is to continue those guarantees for as long as, but no longer than, they are needed 
to ensure the effective operation of our banking system.